Welcome to the Live With A Classic Christmas Special. But something doesn't feel right. Something is definitely missing. I'll be, I'll be right back. There we go. Much better. Welcome back to Live With A Classic and welcome to my Christmas special, an episode where I've tried to make a list of some great gift ideas to get classic car enthusiasts for Christmas. And before you go completely wild in the comments, yes, this is a very ridiculous sweater. It's actually probably the most ridiculous Christmas sweater I could find. See, I've been planning this episode since about October and since then I started looking for Christmas sweaters and this one is just amazing. I mean, the nose is even 3D, and out here in the back, you can click a button, and the lights even turn on. I didn't know, even know they made things like this. It's the first time I ever bought a Christmas sweater, but I did it just for you guys to have that fun sweater on this episode. But I'm going to turn those lights off, because they're pretty distracting. They go right up in your eyes. But it's a very interesting sweater, at least. So, Christmas. Um... Many of us might not celebrate it or celebrate it to an extent, but usually you still give and receive gifts. And if you're into classic cars, what you really want for Christmas is things for your car. Sure, it's really nice to get some new clothes and maybe some appliances for the house, but don't you really want some new wax for your car or maybe a cover or maybe that workshop manual that you wanted for a long time? Don't worry. If you were not happy with what you got for Christmas last year, you can send this video on to your significant other, your your wife, your uh, girlfriend, your boyfriend, your your partner, and tell them that this is what I want for Christmas. So I have made a list of what I think are great things to get classic car guys for Christmas. Some of them will be Jaguar specific because this is mostly a Jaguar based channel, but a lot of them will be um, for any brand or just work for any car, just if you're into cars in general. So it's not only classic cars and it's not only Jags. A lot of stuff is for car guys in general or car girls as well. Before I get on with the list, I just want to say I've, um, I'm going to go through the items and then I have a list down below with links. Some of the links are affiliated links, which means that if you click on them and you make a purchase, uh, the channel will make a cent or two from that purchase. So not only will you be getting a cool product, you will also be supporting the channel in letting me make more videos. So now on to the first part of the list. The first part of the list I like to call car care. This is the universal part of the list. This goes for anyone who's into cars or anyone who's actually just gotten a car because we all like to keep our cars clean. Some of my favorite products include Meguiar's and Glipton like you've seen in my videos. So I've made a list of some of the great products that they have that I really recommend. So let's start with one of these. This is a great gift idea. This is a Meguiar's wash mitt. You wear it like a glove, so you stick your hand in there, and you wash your car with it. These can be used many times, you can wash them in the washing machine, and they're really, really great, so that's a good gift idea right there. But while you're washing your car, you wanna dry it as well. Don't worry, Meguiar's also make a, um, a towel for drying, which is really excellent. The only thing I found that if you have large cars, like the big XJs, I sometimes like to have two of these to dry them off to get a really, really nice finish. Speaking of washing your car, you'll need some type of shampoo. Meguiar's are really good as well. They have a ton of them, a ton of different ones, but this is one I like to use a lot. It's the Meguiar's Wash and Wax, and it's probably, in my opinion, the only wax shampoo that leaves a really nice surface that doesn't leave any streaks or anything. When you use this product, it looks like you just waxed your car a few minutes ago. So it's a great product uh, for a daily driver that you maybe don't get a chance to wax that often. And it's also great to use on um, your pride and joy because you get some extra wax protection between your, um, your normal wax sessions. So highly recommend this one as well. Since we're talking about keeping the car clean, let's talk about this one as well. Meguiar's Waterless Wash and Wax. I already did a review of this on channel earlier this summer and I'd never used it before. I wanted to try it for a few years, but I was almost a little afraid of trying it, and I'm so happy I tried it. As you can see from that video, and I'll put a link to that video up above and below so you can check it out. 
This just gets bugs off the car really easily and on the windscreen this thing was awesome. Um, what I used this for all summer was when going to different car shows and things. Because when I showed up the car would be covering bugs because we have a lot of insects here. Even though I just cleaned it before I left it would look really dirty. So I can just give a quick wipe down with this and it would look newly washed again. So definitely a great product. Highly recommend it. When you have a really clean car, you also want to have a really shiny one and you want to protect it. Meguiar's are really good with that as well. Uh, I really like to use their uh, Ultimate Compound to get some nice color depth, to get rid of any big swirls. Then their Ultimate Polish, which is just like a glaze. This just makes the car so shiny and so incredibly smooth when you've done this. And when you've used those two products, of course, this is my favorite wax. The Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax. Because it's basically just like an old school hard wax inside. However, it's so easy to apply. It comes with an application pad in here. Just, just see if I can get it out. It's just a little sponge and you apply it with that. And you let it go off. It can be on there for almost as long as you want because it doesn't go bad. So once there's a nice haze, just wipe it off and you have a really nice wax. I use this on all my cars, uh, even on the daily driver, used on my wife's car. Um, it's just a great, great product. It's not only for show cars, it stands up really well with cars that have to sit outside all the time, like daily drivers. Highly, highly recommend this wax. Last but not least, when you want to take care of a car, we want to take care of the interior as well. And as you've seen from previous videos, when it comes to leather care, I'm a big fan of Glipton's liquid leather. This product is amazing. Not only does it smell really well, which is always a bonus, it just smells like really nice old leather. Um, it keeps it extremely soft, it's very durable. Uh, this product is also the same. I've used it on all my cars, the daily drivers, the ones that sit outside all summer and bake in the sun and get really cold in the winter. This just keeps the leather soft and nice. So highly recommend this product as well. The next product I'm going to recommend is actually not one that I've tried myself, but I follow a channel called Project Farm, which you probably, many of you guys are familiar with. It's a pretty big YouTube channel where a guy tests a lot of products in a really nice scientific way and lets you know what he thinks of them. So lately he went through a couple different jump starters or jump start packs and how they worked. And one of them just beat the competition by far. It was a lot better than all of them, both in price and how it performed. I was so impressed with this that I decided to order one myself. So I'm going to keep that in my fleet. I don't have it yet. So fortunately I can't show it. It was just a little, little box with some cables and he could jumpstart anything with it. It's called the Adu Power Pack and it's available in the link below and it just seems like an awesome product. Uh, once I get mine, I will find some use for it and show it in a video, but it seems like an amazing product and I'm very excited to get mine. So uh, check out his video as well. I'll put a link to it next to his products. So you can see what he tests the different ones and this one just seems really awesome. So he got me to order one, so maybe you wanna order one as well. The next gift idea I want to go through, it's something I've actually planned for a future video, but I never really got around to it. I want to talk about these. I have a bunch of them. This is just one of them I took out. I want to talk about repair manuals for these cars. Because I think it's the first thing you should get on any car that you have. It doesn't matter if it's a Jaguar, it can be a Jeep, it can be an MG, it can be a Triumph, it can be anything. Find the repair manual for it and read it. You'll learn so much about your car and you'll feel really proud because you've, you'll acquire knowledge from just picking up yourself and reading it. I use these all the time. I look up everything because you don't want to make any mistakes. You don't want to just test anything. So you want to know what you're doing. These are fantastic. So what I've done is I made a list down below of some of the great Jaguar manuals for the cars that I have on this channel that I have bought myself from Amazon. So it's a list from down below. So if you have some of those cars and you don't have the manual, I highly recommend you order them because they're just the best tool you can have. They're better than any other tool in your workshop. Yes, they are a little pricey, but they'll last you a lifetime and they're a great buy. And now on to some fashion things. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of um, wearing a lot of merchandise for the uh, car brand that you drive. It's okay to have some things, but I'm not a big fan of a lot of hats and stuff. 
However, there are some cool discrete things you can get. So I went on the uh, Jaguar Amazon page and I found this. This is a Jaguar belt. And I know it's a great piece of kit because I got one last year for Christmas for my wife. So one of my favorite gifts I've gotten. Um, in the previous year, I've probably worn it for at least 90% of the year. It's a really awesome thing because you can wear it and you have a shirt on top and no one really kind of knows it or you can just tuck it in and you can show that belt. And I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, do you uh, do you have Jags? Do you have just because of that belt? And we've gotten talking about classic cars. And I found out a couple of my coworkers that they were into cars, which I had no idea that they were, just because they saw my belt and they struck up a conversation. So that's a very cool thing. I also picked up this little cool keychain right here, which is a great ad to have on your car. It's nice to have a keychain with the logo for your car as well. Last but not least, let's talk about parts. I get this question often, where I get parts and where I buy parts from. It really depends on which part I want and for which one of the cars it is. But I put some links down below to some of the best suppliers for parts for both modern and classic Jaguars. So whichever Jaguar you have, they will definitely have the parts as well. Some of the sites I put down also have uh, parts for other marks, British marks like MGs and Triumphs and Minis and others. Uh, so check them out. It might not only be Jaguar parts, so um, links down below to some of those great part suppliers as well. Anyways, that's all for this video. Just a fun little different video here for Christmas. So please let me know in the comments down below what you think. Was it a fun idea to do a little bit different video for Christmas with some great gift ideas? Uh, hopefully you could get some inspiration or your significant others could get some inspiration of what car guys really want for Christmas. So please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video, if it was a fun idea, if it's something you want me to maybe do next year again. I could possibly do a more comprehensive longer list, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. But until next time, I'm Adam, and this was Love With A Classic. I'll see you soon.